Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on declaring and initializing strings in C++. To show code examples we will be using rextester.com which is a free online app that allows you to create and test your code without having to download anything. The language again is C++ and we'll be using GCC rather than the other varieties. If you haven't already done so, please check out the link in the description for a free 10 hour course. It's a fantastic course as everything you need to start coding. You can also learn more about us and take more courses at mammothinteractive.com. Without further ado, let's get started. Now strings are an excellent way to represent words, sentences, messages, or basically any kind of characters you choose to put between the quotation marks shown here. Let's code up an example. So like with the integer, we first have to declare the type, which is string in this case. Notice the standard with the two semicolons in front of the word string. This is necessary as strings are part of the C++ standard library, so you'll have to type that out every time. Let's give the string a name. We'll call it my string. Again, notice the lower case because it is an object. Now this right here is just the declaration. We haven't assigned a value to my string yet, so the compiler just recognizes it as a blank list of characters. Now let's give it some substance. We'll assign it the value mammoth interactive. Like with an integer where we were giving it a, num a numerical value, here we're giving it a character value. So this string, which is called my string, now contains a list of these characters, starting with M and ending with E. Let's print it out and see what the console thinks of it. So we'll replace that with my string. We'll scroll down to the bottom, click run it. And as we see here, the console is printing out Mammoth Interactive which is the value that my string contains. Now right now my string only has letters and a space, but it contain a variety can contain a variety of characters such as numbers or basically any other character you wish. So let's add some numbers to this. Let's replace this O with a 0. We can replace the E with a 3. Let's replace this A with the at sign. Let's add an exclamation mark. And just for fun, we'll replace that with a 1. So the value of my string has changed. We're going to print out and see if the compiler is OK with that. We scroll down and click Run It. And as we can see, everything is printing out exactly how we want it to, which means that the compiler can handle many different characters as well as just letters. All right, that's just about all there is to it. Thanks for watching today's tutorial on declaring and initializing strings. Please like the video and subscribe, and feel free to share any feedback in the comments below. Again, there is a link to a free 10-hour course in the description. It's an awesome course, and I strongly urge you to try it out. All right, see you next video.